comes from that systemic idea about actually, you know, we're in a relational context, and actually, so understanding people in different ways contributes to the idea of user difference, and the user difference is the thing that sometimes makes a difference. So we don't know what Tim's going to say, but might make a difference to the relationship you have with him, or the ideas that he might have that he's asking us to, to put forward. So that's partly why we're doing this. The other thing we're going to use is um, the pause idea. So occasionally I'm going to pause the interview. At the point, I'm just going to explain what I think I'm doing and why I think I'm doing it, so that we do a little bit of how a systemic interview might be carried out, as opposed to just a conversation. That we're all <laughs> so, Blue's favourite colour. Yeah. Yeah. Turns you close to the context. Yeah. Is this the sort of first question you thought you were going to be asked? No. 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 I thought it was something uh, deep and meaningful. Okay. Yeah. We'll get there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just pause a sec. So systemically, what you're trying to do is what's called warming the context. Yeah. So when you're interviewing someone, you don't start with, in terms of that traumatic incident with your mother. Yeah. That's not generally. So and it's what most of us will do in a conversation. What most of us do with all of our work. <coughs> so we try and find something that just introduces the idea that we're going to have a more conversational pace. And that's, that's warming context, or another model is a good fit, or joining, uh, and just thinking about that. So it's just that idea, you know, just trying to get a slightly different uh, premise to, the, to the, the conversation space that we're having. How did you get to be here? What, what, what was the journey that you took that, that got you into this role that we're in, that we're in, in the role? Yeah. What? fundamentally got me here was a, um, uh, a, 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 a I think probably it's, it, it stems from sort of my family upbringing, my childhood, my sense of what was right and wrong and what was just. And, you know, it, through a, a series of kind of um, voluntary um, sort of jobs and experience, I suppose I developed an interest in social care. Um, and social work, and what brought me here, I don't know, I, I guess I, I, you know, the, the bits I've really enjoyed about social work have been uh, working with people, and working with teams, and um, looking at how actually we get the best out of the services that we offer, what led me on to um, wanting to, you know, take on a leadership role in an organisation, because it was that real sense of Actually, social work is, should be more <coughs> just about managing risk. It should be more about supporting families to. I just want to pause a second. Is that okay? Just, just. So, what's really for me? What's really interesting in listening to that is, 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 is the dilemma I had very early on, which is as I'm as I'm listening to Tim talk, he went through a number of positions of which we could have explored from. So if, you, if you've heard, he talked about values. So that's something that you might want to pick up on. He talked about his family. So, so he was very generous and, and, and quite brave in that he introduced you know, his, his family into a conversation. There's, there's just issues of personality, so around kind of what drove him and thinking about how comes, you know, graduating, he chose to take that offer up and what, what could have been life like elsewhere. So there's all sorts of, of ways that you could intervene. And I could have interviewed much earlier and become quite interested at a certain point. And that's always the dilemma. How long do you listen to the narrative before you ask another question? And in social work practice, we often ask questions much quicker because we think we want to get information we think we want without actually giving the person the opportunity and the space to give us a narrative and then for us to hear that and come back. So we kind of let the narrative develop a little bit. And then you're in a dilemma about, do you then follow on from the last bit? Because Tim's led us into a conversation about the practice now. So he's moved from personal, personal stuff, values, and now he's into direction of travel of an organisation. So if I'm going on feedback, I'm staying attuned to Tim, I stay there. If I'm being interested and nosy and curious or irreverent, I want to go back to values or I want to go back to to the kind of stuff that might be interesting me. And there's the tension when we're interviewing people. What interests us and why does that interest us versus 
maybe what the task is that we're asked to do.